you know I'll always keep on coming back to you Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dorshell if you are new. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Come and join the fam because it is always lit on my channel. So definitely consider subscribing if you are not already. Um, and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment as these are all things that help with growing my channel. So definitely consider subscribing if you're not already. Um, I actually picked up the camera a couple of days ago. Um, I've been working on a wedding dress and then I went to run some errands yesterday. Um, so I'm going to insert those clips soon of what I've been doing. Um, but yeah, I am working on a wedding dress. You guys saw that kind of a few vlogs ago, me sourcing the fabric and such. So I'm just going to try and um, give you guys a glimpse of me actually working on the dress without giving away too much of the dress So anything that pertains to the fabric or the silhouette I'm gonna try to refrain posting that just for like client confidentiality But um, any little thing that I can put on my channel so you guys can see a little bit of the process I will um, So that's what I've been working on and that's what's been occupying most of my time and will be Occupying most of my time because I don't have much time to get the draft done so I'm working on that and then yesterday I went and did a little bit of errand running. I did some grocery shopping and I did some um, a Target run. So I'm going to insert those clips there. I have a haul for you guys of the things that I got yesterday and yeah, I'll insert that footage here. shopping like I told you guys before I left I was gonna go run some errands so I went to Ralph's I went to Trader Joe's and I went to Target and I also got a package from Amazon nothing exciting but I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up and what came in the mail um but I wanted to let you guys know that I am doing kind of like a fitness journey uh, like new fitness health journey so a lot of the foods that I did pick up are things that are going to help me kind of transition into this healthier lifestyle so i wanted to share you guys some of my pickups that i've gotten i'm really going to try and strip carbs and sugar from my diet 
not nothing like a keto diet or anything like that i've done keto and it didn't work for me so nothing like too crazy it's just small little like substitutes and changes that i want to make with certain meals um that i do so um just having some different substitutes things that are sugar free low carb um just so that i can kind of transition into a more healthier li lifestyle i also want to get a juicer to start juicing so i can drink less like juices from the store which contain a whole lot of sugar so i just kind of want to make small little changes um with my diet um to have like better results and then i also am going to continue my workout journey i've been inconsistent with the gym in january i went to the gym at least three times a week i think it was three times a week every single week which was really good and then I kind of fell off <laughs> at the month of February. So I kind of want to pick up and try and like work out in the mornings and then maybe do like uh, another workout in the evenings. Um, so I am going to kind of document kind of my health journey. So if you guys have any tips and tricks, um, leave that in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys um, are doing and how you've been transitioning. I know I've seen a lot of people kind of switching things up especially since um we're not at home anymore a lot of people have been kind of transitioning and trying to get back into their pre um pandemic bodies so let me know if you guys have any tips and tricks and what you guys are doing to kind of transition into a healthier lifestyle but um yeah so a lot of the things that i picked up are going to help with that transition for me and I'll show you guys what I picked up. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is what I got from Trader Joe's. Picked up some um, grilled chicken, some salmon. I get the fresh um, Atlantic salmon. Also heard really good things about this turkey bacon. It's the first time I've seen it in stores. It's the peppered uncured turkey bacon. Someone mentioned this was really good. So I'm going to give it a try because I'm very particular with my turkey bacon. Four packs of seaweed. I also ran out of my onion salt, so I picked up some more onion salt, and then I also picked up some ginger shots for obvious reasons. You guys seen this on my channel. I don't know why it's not focusing. You guys seen this on my channel a couple of times. I also got some ginger shots. And the other thing I wanted to show you guys is what I actually got sent from Amazon, which are just these Cottonelle wipes. They're about 15 bucks on Amazon for two, four, six, eight, eight packs, which I think is pretty good. I use these all the time, so this is kind of like a necessity for me. So I placed an order on Amazon and those came in. I ran out, so this is perfect. And from Rouse, I picked up um, this mixed fruit medley. I also picked up some avocado oil. This was actually really expensive, but I've heard great things about avocado oil that's more healthier than your olive oil. I got these raw shrimp. I also got some Korean style mini wontons. And then I also got some banana, obviously for smoothies and breakfast. And this is what I'm really excited for. It's the G Hughes um, sugar free barbecue sauce. I'm not crazy about barbecue sauce, but I do make wings a lot. And I definitely want to try this sauce because it is sugar free. D Hughes does a lot of like sauces and dressings that are sugar free. So I'm really excited to try this and I want to try his other sauces as well. And then I also picked up some cauliflower rice, green beans, some asparagus, and some broccoli. I also got some eggs. I got more garlic and more scallions. And then I also picked up some sriracha since I ran out. So I picked up more sriracha, some lemon juice to clean my meat and my seafood. And then I also found this carb master bread. It's a classic white bread and the they have the same nutrition facts as the wheat and I prefer white bread. So it's low carb, some baby spinach, some ground turkey for tacos, up some party wings and just like some regular size wings. Vegan cheese, really love this vegan cheese for like my sandwiches. I love this vegan cheese. Um, and I also picked up some turkey breasts, obviously to make sandwiches. So some quinoa. And I also picked up this um, extreme wellness um, tortilla bread. I typically get this carb balance flour from Mission. I really like these tortillas, but the nutrition facts for these were better. This was less calories, less carbs. So I'm gonna try this. I hope I like it. Almond breeze unsweetened. I always get this milk. 
um, for smoothies and such. And then I picked up these two juices. The only reason I picked them up is because I don't have a juicer yet and I love juice. So I just picked these two up, but I'm hoping that I can start juicing soon so I won't have to buy juices anymore. And then I also want to make a peach Ciroc drink tonight. So I'll probably film that for you guys. Um, that's why I got this peach punch. All right, lastly, I wanted to show you guys what I picked up from Target. I didn't get much stuff, but obviously the bill always says otherwise. But that's not, besides the point. I love Target, so I just ran up in there and grabbed some things that I needed. Um, I grabbed some maxi pads, some feminine care. I needed to re-up, so I got that. This is the brand I prefer to, the L brand, because it is chlorine-free. I got some TheraBreath mouthwash or a Vino lotion. Let me know... Um, Guys, if you have any recommendations for lotion for dry skin, um, Aveeno works well for me, but because it is a Johnson & Johnson brand, I'm trying to stay away from that. So if you guys have any recommendations for lotion, for really good lotion for dry skin, let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, I got some more of this because I ran out. Some more floss because I ran out. And I read up on some toothpaste. I always get the Crest 3D White. It's my tried and true. I always stick with her, so I got that. Our air freshener, I didn't even smell this one in the store. Mm, okay, it doesn't smell that great. They have very limited um, selections at Target, so I just picked up this one. So, it smells okay. And I did get this one in the scent beads for my laundry too. So, I don't know, I'm not really obsessed with this smell, but it is what it is. So I picked that up from Target. And lastly, my favorite purchase from Target, um, I think I showed you guys in the store, is this glass vase. I love her. It actually does come apart. So there's this like little wooden basket thing, which I don't think I'm going to use. I don't know. I might use it. I'm not too sure. But um, it comes with this little wooden like tray and the vase goes right on top of it. But I love this vase because like I told you guys, I think in a few vlogs ago I want to do like a white bouquet with like a shorter vase because the vase I have is like tall and I really wanted to do like a short kind of bouquet so hopefully I can go to the floral district tomorrow pick up some nice white roses because I love me some white roses and the ones that I got died so I want to get some white roses and fill this vase up I love this shape I love everything about this so I thought that was really cute and then like I said it comes with a little tray so I think it's gonna be so cute either on my dining table or on my side table in my living room and that is everything that I picked up from the shops today so it was a very successful shop day um and like I said mentioned earlier i'm really excited for this new fitness health journey um and i hope you guys are gonna stay along with me for the journey to see how it goes hold your girl accountable because it's been a goal of mine that i really want to do is just start to eat better work out more because this summer is mine okay and i want to have an amazing summer so i know if i can implement these things earlier on i'll feel better and more energized and ready for the summertime because you know i'm a leo and I love the summer. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm really excited about it. So if you guys have any tips, tricks, anything um, pertaining to health, fitness, wellness, eating right, working out, let me know all those good stuff. But I'm going to put away all of these groceries and all of these things. And I will film the little drink I'm going to make later. I don't think it's going to be anything special, but I'm going to film that for you guys later and I will catch up with you guys most likely tomorrow.
So yeah, that's all that's been pretty much going on the last couple of days. Um, but today I'm gonna head to the garment district, the fl floral district, and I also have a package to drop off at USPS. So I'm gonna do that first and then head to downtown to get some new flowers because y'all, my flowers died. Let me show you guys. Look at my flowers, they're all dead. Because my flowers died, I wanna go and get some more. Um, yeah, I want to get some more white roses. And as you guys saw, I got a new vase. So I really want to do like a nice little bouquet. And then I also need some more eucalyptus. So yeah, I'm excited to go to the flower district because I've never been. Hopefully they're open and all that kind of stuff. And then I'm going go to go downtown to get more tool for the bottom of the dress. I just felt like the slip that I showed you guys that I got just wasn't full enough. So I'm going to actually go back and get some more tools so I can make the bottom of the dress more, flare out more. Since it's a bridal dress, I feel like that added drama is appropriate, so I'm gonna do that. Not sure if I need it, but because I don't know the next time I'm gonna have a car, i just rather get that out the way now. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what is gonna go on today. Like I told you guys, I'm gonna take you guys with me as I go. And yeah, that's pretty much what I have going on today because I really want to get the day started. I will see you guys downtown. Lovely. district I got what I needed for the wedding dress and I also came back from the flower district as you guys can see in the back I got pompous eucalyptus and some white roses so I'll show you guys that when I get back home exactly what I got and then you guys see me put things together I'll probably hang my eucalyptus in the shower tomorrow after I clean the shower but yeah I would say the flower district is pretty overwhelming. There's so many stores, um, but I really was looking for like single stemmed roses and not like things in bouquets, but most of the places I went had like bouquets already like assorted and stuff like that. But it is quite overwhelming because there's just so many stores, even in the garment district as well. There's just so many options. Um, so yeah i got what i needed which is great and i can't wait to come back again because i don't know i just i love the ambi not really the ambiance of the floral district but just how many flowers they are i don't know so anyway hopefully i'll go back sometime in the future but right now i'm about to head to pick up some orange juice and champagne so i can make some mimosas and do like a late brunch because it's already it's already two o'clock wow the time goes by fast it's already two so i'm gonna do like a, a late brunch um when i get home and yeah i'll see you guys then i am back home i'm finally back home i actually quickly stopped i think i told you guys at trader joe's to pick up some mimosa ingredients i got some orange juice and some wine no some orange juice and some champagne this is sparkling wine this is my first time trying out this brand. I'm gonna make some mimosas. I'm doing a very late brunch, a very late one. Um, but I'll walk you guys through how I do kind of like my ombre mimosa. I wanted to do um, like a tequila sunrise, but since I want a mimosa, I'll get the look of a tequila sunrise and a mimosa. So I'll show you guys how I do it. It's super easy, super simple. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make brunch and then we just relax for the rest of the day. But I wanted to show you guys what I picked up from downtown. I went to the garment district and got um, like a little tulle skirt, will you? Um, just to add added fullness to the bottom of the wedding dress that I'm creating. So I picked that up and then right around the corner was the floral district. So guys, the LA floral district is just massive. I think I was telling you guys earlier, so many shops to pick up flowers, so, so many. A little overwhelming, but I finally found the roses that I really wanted. And I got four dozen of these roses and they're gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous they are. I'm obsessed. Like, if I could get this every month, like, I'm obsessed with these flowers. They're so pretty. Um, so, yeah, like I told you guys, I picked up this vase yesterday at Target. So, I'm going to fill these roses, cut the stems, and fill this up with the roses. Um, I also picked up a whole bunch of eucalyptus. This was $10, which is not bad. It's a full bunch. Of eucalyptus so i'm gonna hang this in my shower tomorrow after i wash it but i'm super happy that i got a bunch of those definitely have to go back to pick up more when i can because that's a whole lot for just ten dollars and usually the ones i get from trader joe's are really like small so i picked those up and then finally i got some pompous grass i've been telling you guys how much i've been wanting to get pompous grass for my very big boss in my living area so i'm gonna fill up that boss with some of this pompous well all of this pompous i got um 10 reeds 10 reeds for 40 dollars which is quite pricey i saw another place that was giving five reeds for ten dollars but i just didn't like the fluffiness of this these are a lot more fluffy however if i feel as if this is not enough for the pot that I have. I probably will go back to get the cheaper pompous just to fill it in, but hopefully this will be good enough. So I picked up and this is like a really long stems. So super happy about that. So yeah, let me get some water for these roses so they don't die. And um, then I'm going to go and cook a brunch. I feel like I definitely should have cut some of the leaves off so that it wasn't all bunched up in the middle but I really really love it guys I'm obsessed with white roses like I love receiving red roses but white roses are really the wave as well so that's how the bouquet is looking I just wanted to show you guys Ignore those buckets. I had a ceiling leak a few months ago, so that's why that's there. But, um, yeah, I love it. And I love this diptyque candle aside. It looks so nice once those buckets are removed, which they should be gone today. This is going to look so nice. And I wasn't really sure if I was going to use this wooden platform thing, but I think it actually looks quite nice. So I'm really, really happy with how this arrangement turned out. This is more than enough flowers, like 
so so pretty so yeah that's how that's looking i'm actually going to put my pompous in my pots so i'm gonna film that and show you guys how that looks like i don't know if i'm gonna keep it in my living area i actually might move it to my room because i already have two vases full of pompous i got this pompous from amazon and i think there was like a hundred stems so i have already these two vases they're not gonna stay here this one probably will stay here this one i'm not too sure but since i already have these two i'm not sure if i want to fill i think it's going to be an overkill if i put this leave this in the living room so i might move that to the bedroom but not too sure yet but yeah those are the two that i have now so i'm going to so i'm going to put the pompous that i just bought in this little vase and i'll probably just stow away this little handle that it comes with I'll see how that looks and then determine if I want to keep it out here or put it in my room. But I'm loving how my flower arrangement looks like, guys. It's so, so pretty. Um, definitely need to go back to the LA Flower District because this is just too pretty to pass up. Like, it looks so luxe. gosh it's like a pompous everywhere i'm gonna shake this outside and i'll be back okay i fluffed them out and i still feel like if i shake it so much more would come out so i'm gonna try to be as delicate as possible so all of this doesn't go all over my house but uh yeah i'm gonna put them in the vase you can't really see the vase from this angle but I definitely feel like I need to stuff it with something so I'm gonna put one of the blankets I barely use in here to try and stuff it because it's not standing upright and then they are still attached by ribbon so I'm gonna take those off as well Slip that on and we might miss the fight Fuck or not, I keep the quality in my shorty bag You know she wanna mind when she tattoo that ass I'm a lover boy, she got her toys Keep it coming, you I ended up cutting the stems so that it's a lot shorter Not too much shorter, but a little bit So that it'll fit in this pot for now I think I'm gonna keep it like this Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it out here or in my bedroom since I have these two but for now, I'm going to leave it like this. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions to um, make this look a little bit better. But so far, that's what I think I'm going to go with.